Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So already in our previous video we discussed this particular pipeline which basically captured all the insert, update or delete happening in our MySQL OLTP system and those we basically pushed to our Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse platform in real time, right? And how we do that? Basically in MySQL there is something called bin log file which captured all the insert, update, delete or the change data in real time and using a python module we are consuming those binary logs and from there we can understand what are the insert update delete happening and from that particular consumer we are publishing that to our kinesis data stream from data stream eventually the data is going to firehose and from firehose the data is getting written in partitioned manner in our s3 data lake right and then using Snowpipe, SQS or SNS event notification we can refresh our snowflake table where we can query the change data right so this particular framework we discussed with kinesis now we will replace kinesis with kafka because already i discussed several concepts related to kafka right and we will try to build this particular pipeline okay but before that i would like to cover one particular point and that is how to add the resume capability while working with mysql bin log streamer okay what i mean by resume capability is Suppose here your MySQL and your Python consumer connectivity is done. Okay, now your Python consumer is consuming the binary logs and suppose due to some reason the consumer stops. Okay, and when the consumer is in down mode, that time in the OLTP system, some insert update delete happening. So obviously the binary logs will capture that. Now after some time when you will spin up your consumer again, then when the consumer was down earlier, whatever insert update delete happened, the consumer cannot consume directly if you don't configure a particular setting. Okay, how to make sure that consumer consumed all the binary logs or insert update delete, whatever happened in our uh, source system when it was down. Okay, basically where the consumer stopped after that, from that place only the consumer should start when we are basically restarting our consumer. That functionality we want to add. And that is called resume capability okay so how to do that let us try to understand in this particular video okay so it is same like earlier what we discussed first we will create an rts parameter group where we need to set up pin log format as row okay so here i will go to aws management console and here i will search for rds okay and here i will go to rds and here if you see already i created a parameter group having the name demo cdc mysql if i go there and if i just search with bin log ifm format here you can see currently it is configured with row okay so the first step we have already completed and if you want to do this step by step alongside with my video then you can check the description link where i did all the steps from beginning okay and then what we are doing here in this step two we are spinning off an rds instance from aws management console and we are using this particular parameter group whatever we have created in step one okay so let's do that so here i will go to databases as of now there is no database i will just click on create database okay and then here i will choose mysql instance right and then here as of now i am doing just a poc so free tier is good enough if we are enabling free tier then availability and durability we cannot choose that is fine okay database instance is database one master username is admin master password i will configure so here i have written master password now here i need to confirm the password okay so i have confirmed the password and then here basically because we are using free tier so t3 micro instance is good enough okay right and then here vpc i am using the default vpc only publicly accessible yes i am keeping okay then here additional configuration database port 3306 is fine and then here password based authentication only we want to do right additional configuration if i go here db parameter group i need to choose that particular parameter group where we have basically configured the bin log format as row right and here already i discussed that the automatic backup you have to enable if you want to turn binary logging on then the backup retention period has to be some positive value and if you want to turn binary logging off then backup retention period you can set to zero okay so here basically because mm -hmm. we want the binary logging so here we need to enable backup and backup retention period should be some non-zero value like here seven days okay 
backup window no preference copy text to snapshot that is fine okay and then here enable auto minor version upgrade is fine and yeah almost uh, we are done with the all the requirements here what i will do i will create the database okay it is going to take some time to spin up this particular database okay so when the status will change to available then i will resume the video i am basically skipping the waiting so here now the status is changed to backing up soon it will be running state so till then what i will do i will explain the code once just a code review so generally first two steps already we discussed now in step three what we have to do we have to change the bin log retention hour to 24 hours okay by default for aws rts it is very low so just we have to configure so that if the consumer fails if you want to restart so the bin log still exist okay and then here if you want to confirm whether bin log is enabled or not you can execute this verification code which we will do once our rts is ready and in available state okay now without resume capability if you recall our code it looked like this like we imported json from the pi mysql replication module we imported the bin log streamer and here we only want to capture insert update delete so write row event update row event and delete row event only we want to capture so we imported the required parts for those only and here we are configuring all the required connection strings for our database then here basically only events we are configuring these values okay now here we are iterating in the bin log stream and here we are just keeping that in a json and we are printing that and we are calling our main function so this is the code which we discussed earlier also so once our rds is ready we will basically execute this particular code till then i will just copy this particular code and paste it in my pycharm environment okay and here i will make sure it is aligned properly So here the values we need to fill up. So here see currently now our database is in available state, right? So I, I can enter in this database and let's check the connectivity whether it is working properly or not. So first what I will do, I will go to MySQL workbench and try to open this one, okay? So here I have opened MySQL workbench and I will click on new connection, okay? Connection name demo resume, okay? Something. Host name here I will put the host name which I copied from this AWS management console then port number 3306 okay port number is 3306 username I will put admin which we configured while launching the RTS password here I will put whatever I have written okay and here I will click on okay and then here what I will do yeah it looks good I will just click on test connection let's see whether it is working on not. so successfully connected i will click on ok and then here i will click on ok so demo resume so the connection is ready i will just click on that connection to open it okay so if you are facing some issues to set up the connection you just need to make sure one thing that within this security group if you go here it should have all traffic access for the inbound okay like for example if i go to inbound rule and here if i go to edit inbound rule here you make sure that type is all traffic and source is all IPv4 access. Okay, so just POC we are doing right. So here we need to make sure that this option is enabled along with providing the publicly accessible feature in our RDS. In RDS already we configured the right that the RDS should be publicly accessible. Along with that, you have to make sure this particular part is also there. Okay, right. So that is pretty much what I wanted to show you with respect to VPC. Now here we can write any code okay so what i will do here here i have uh, written some code let me just copy them one by one so if here first here i am creating this schema and then here i am creating the person table in it okay right and then here what i will do i will execute some insert statement okay i will copy that i will paste that here now before executing this insert statement i will start my python consumer which we discussed earlier also so here in the host name we need to provide the host name so here i will copy this one and then here i will put the host name okay and then here port number i will put 3306 okay username i will put admin password i will put it not a problem okay so this is looking good now what we will do by providing the password i can basically start the code okay so here i will click on run the code okay 
so when it started here you can see it is waiting so as soon as something will be written in our mysql it will capture that in real time due to this bin log property okay but before doing bin log property i need to make sure one more thing that i should be configuring this part also let me just do that let me pause the consumer once and execute these two so here we need to change the bin log retention period to 24 hours and just to confirm whether bin log is enabled or not we can execute this code so these things already i discussed earlier so if i am clicking on so log bin here see log bin variable is on so that means the cdc should work so here i will now run my code and then here what i will do i will basically insert some data in it so from id 0 to id 11 i will insert okay so let them insert one by one and here you will see in pycharm console also these are coming okay so in our this instance whatever we inserted so those are coming from 0 to 11 okay right i hope up to this it is very simple now here what i will do i will stop my consumer okay and then what i will do i will insert some more records so 0 to 11 already we inserted suppose 12 to 16 this insert we are doing okay and now we are doing insert where our basically consumer is not running okay i will execute this one so all these are executed and now what i will do i will start my consumer so ideally we should have resume capability and as a result from when the consumer stopped that is basically after id 11 whatever changes happened those it should be consuming right that is 12 to 16 those records got inserted so as soon as we will start our consumer those should be coming here but see it is not coming okay and maybe once our consumer started and then if we are doing some changes like if we are adding some more rows like for example 17 18 i'm just showing with respect to insert you can do update delete and do the same experiment so if i'm now doing this insert queries execution here you will see that from row 17 it started consumption up to 24 basically this particular part whatever we inserted newly that it consumed but for this case the data is not consumed the cdc data is not captured properly why because our consumer was down when we did this insert case right so that means in this particular scenario in this code the resume capability is not available we need to add that okay and how to add that it is very simple let me show you so here is the logic okay so what we need to do we have basically a tuple called latest bin log state okay which contain the last binary log file name and the position where we stopped reading before the last shutdown and the shutdown or the consumer can be stopped for maintenance or maybe if some error occurs suppose for that reason the consumer is stopped okay now if you want to resume then you need to know where it last consumed okay that is basically available in this particular tuple latest bin log state they are the log file name that is binary log file name and the position where the consumer consumed that is basically stored okay and you should keep updating it after each successfully handled log event okay and if your consumer stopped so in this particular maybe in a database or in a file system you are continuously writing this particular tuple then when your consumer is again starting then it should read the binary log file name and the position where it last consumed and from then onwards only it should start the consumption of messages okay that is when the consumer was down whatever insert update delete happened that also it should be capturing okay losing this tuple means losing data or having duplicate data so don't lose it okay maybe you can store this log bin log state that is binary log file name and the position in a database or in a file system whatever you want you can do so for this demo what i am doing here if you see let's see the code with resume capability we are doing import json boto3 json is imported two times let me delete it once and then here we are importing bin log streamer so all the imports are as it is like our code without the resume capability and then here we are keeping two variable and then here we have written a function which i will discuss later okay now as of now you focus on main function okay def main so what it is doing we are calling create bin log stream okay so what will happen in the main function we need to pass where the last consumption of message happened for a particular binary log file and position using that we will create our bin log streamer so here if you see our code create bin log streamer so basically that tuple we are 
capturing in a text file in this case here we are reading that particular text file if the text file don't have any data that means we are starting our consumer for the first time so we are just using the normal method but if the file has data that is if the file has tuple that is log file name and log file position then here what we are doing in the bin log streamer here we are configuring two properties where we are mentioning the bin log file name and last consumed position okay so that it will resume properly and when the consumer was down whatever cbc happened that also it will capture okay and we are returning this particular bin log streamer as a return for this particular create bin log streamer okay so basically we are storing that in a particular file as simple as that now here what we are doing if you see that create bin log streamer so suppose we are starting our consumer for the first time what will happen that here it will call this particular function and here when it will open the file it will have no data so it will return the normal bin log streamer okay then here what we are doing here we are basically iterating here we are just printing the cdc data okay and as soon as successfully the events are consumed here we are calling stored bin log state okay that is the log file and the log position we are updating in our text file okay file dot write we are basically storing in a dictionary format and i told you right that this particular log file and log position are available in the stream itself so here you see that for bin log event in stream so in that stream object only here that log file name and the position is available okay right and here what we are doing we are calling the main function okay so with the bin log file name and bin log position right but actually it is not required what will happen it will automatically read from the file itself so we can just directly call the main function also so the main function will be called and eventually it will basically come here so i will delete this particular place also so if it is happening for the first time it will ha happen normally and suppose you are stopping your consumer and restarting it again so here in this particular file you will have those file name and position so basically it will go to the else part and then here it will use the log file name and the position for starting okay right and then here if you see store bin log state whatever function we are calling here for writing they are just we are writing the position and file name in this particular text file we are updating basically right so let's see the code so from here to here i will copy this code and here i will go to pycharm i will delete everything and paste it and then here what i will do i will make sure all the connection details are shared properly which i discussed earlier also so i have updated all the uh, necessary connection details now let's first see this particular location where the file is available okay so here if you see in this particular folder i am having that particular text file bin log metadata and if i open that file as of now it is empty okay because we have not started consumption yet or writing yet using this particular resume capability right so here what i will do to show you the phrase demo here first i will drop this key and here i will create these things freshly so here it is created okay cool now here what i will do i will start my this particular code okay so it is again a new fresh situation now what i will do here i will insert some data in it okay so here data is getting inserted and similarly here you can see 0 to 11 the ids are also getting printed and it is showing that it is right row event okay perfectly fine now what i will do i will stop my consumer okay right and now let's see what is the state in our that particular file so if i go to bin log metadata here you will see that the tuple is stored the log file name bin log file name and the position where it last consumed okay now i will restart this okay but before that let me do some modifications when our consumer is down maybe 12 to 16 which earlier we have seen that when the consumer was down and we modified that time it was not captured now let's see so here we are doing some insert okay right and then what i will do here i will start my consumer okay so as soon as i am starting my consumer here you will see that when our consumer was down that time whatever modification happened that also got captured 12 to 16 which earlier was not happening and all this is happening due to the resume capability and now if i open my bin log metadata this particular position is updated basically so always this log file name and log file position will be keep on updating 
as soon as a successful consumption will happen okay and that is basically helping us in a restartability part so i will basically stop my consumer again and maybe i will do some update like for example i have some update queries here let me just scroll below and take that like for example i am doing an update and maybe let me do a delete also maybe ninth do i want to delete okay so one update and delete happened when our consumer was down either for some error or for maintenance okay now if we are starting that we should see that updated and deleted record here should be coming see here update row event and delete row event if i scroll right here if you see that whenever update happens it gives us the before update whatever state was there and after update whatever we are having okay and here when delete event is occurring that time here deleted record also it is showing and obviously as normally we are running our system i can do any insert when our consumer is running then also it will capture all the cdc records with this resume capability okay so if i just run that here see insert is happening similarly here those records are getting consumed in real time so right row event happening that means those are insert okay so all things are coming under this particular property that is here when you are creating the bin log streamer object you have to mention the log file position where it last consumed and the log file name that is from which file it was consuming okay right so i hope the resume capability for bin log file is clear to you this is all for my this video the codes i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section just try to implement in your local system okay and then you will get a better idea out of it if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you